They called for a show of strength, a huge turnout, and they got it. Thousands rallied to the cause in Liberation Square. The message is clear. They'll stay here as long as President Mubarak stays in office. The army units uh, are there right in front of the gate. We're not trying to break into the gate or anything. We're just protesting there peacefully. And they're negotiating with some of us to leave, but we're refusing to. They gathered just a short time after the president revealed a roadmap for change. But this was reform, not resignation. He set up three committees. The first will look at constitutional reform, what needs to be done and when. The second will investigate the violence against anti-Mubarak protesters. And the third is aimed at getting as many people together as possible to discuss the country's future. Today, the president signed a presidential decree for the formation of the Constitutional Committee to carry out necessary amendments to the Constitution and the parallel legislative amendments. He also instructed the Prime Minister to form the Steering Committee to follow up with the precise implementation of the agreements reached by the parties to the National Dialogue and a third fact-finding committee on the incidents and clashes of Wednesday last and to refer the outcomes to the Chief Prosecutor to take necessary actions. 40 prominent figures have written to Egypt's Prosecutor General asking him to investigate the Mubarak's family wealth. Some estimates say the President has as much as $60 million in foreign bank accounts. We are asking the Prosecutor General to uh, verify if these news are true or not. If it is true, then he must uh, proceed and uh, ask them to, uh, to, to give their statements and then they go to court and then uh, they, they should be uh, 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 punished. They are also demonstrating again in Alexandria where thousands have turned out in the centre of Egypt's second biggest city. As Cairo and the rest of the country slowly adapt to the new normal, there was a feeling among demonstrators momentum was being lost the moment to remove the president had gone. He has survived the initial storm, but thousands believe he can still be blown from office. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.